Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video. Today we are going to talk about the F beta score. And well, before we talk about the F beta score, we'll talk about precision recall and the F1 score to better understand the F beta score. I strongly recommend that you watch my previous video regarding, well, precision recall and F1 score, but other aspects of evaluating models. Uh, it gives you a good rack, a background of what I'm going to talk about in this uh, video. But just, you know, as a quick uh, recap, let's talk about precision recall and F1 score and understand them through several examples. So precision is defined as true positives. Anything the model predicted correctly is true. Divided by true positives and falsely predicted positives. Well, from the negative class. So let's say we have a model that has to predict, and these are the actual labels, and these are the predicted labels. Everything is predicted correctly. So of course, there are five true positives and no false positives, and that means that the precision is equal to one. In this example, well, we have three correct uh, true positives, and there are no false positives, even though and two instances are incorrectly classified, the precision is still equal to one. In this example, well, the we have two negatives that are falsely predicted as positive, and that means uh, that the, uh, the, well, this changes from zero to two. And the precision drops from one to 0 0.71. So we can say that precision is more concerned with false positives. And well, uh, let's talk about re re recall and we'll see that it's more concerned with false negatives. So recall is defined as true positives divided by true positives and the falsely predicted negatives, these instances over here. <laughs> So again, the same as precision, if everything is predicted correctly, of course, the recall is equal to one. If, well, in this example, two instances of the negative class are falsely predicted as positive, that doesn't mean anything because again, the recall is more concerned with the false negatives. But in this example over here, there are two false negatives and then the recall drops from one to 0 0.6. So again, recall is more concerned with false negatives. Now regarding precision and recall, sometimes we well want to kind of evaluate both of them together and that's where the F1 score comes into place. The F1 score is the harmonic mean of recall and precision. It's defined as 2 times recall times precision divided by recall plus precision. And well again, let's understand the F1 score through several examples. In this example over here, well, everything is incorrectly classified. So of course, both precision and recall and consequently the F1 score are all equal to zero. In this example, everything is predicted as negative. And since precision and recall are both concerned with the positive class, then they're both equal to zero. And again, the F1 score is equal to zero. So again, like I said, both precision and recall are more concerned with the positive class. And let's jump to this example over here, where everything is predicted as positive. And in this case over here, the precision is equal to 0 0.5. The recall is equal to 1, and the F1 score is equal to 0 0.66. And this is where the F beta score comes into place. While the F1 score is the harmonic mean, giving the exact same weight to both precision and recall, sometimes, depending, depending on well, your task or what you have to evaluate, maybe recall may be more important or maybe precision well, might be more important, you can weight that with the beta. F beta is defined as 1 plus, the, uh, plus beta squared times recall times precision divided by beta square times recall plus precision. And two notes, two important notes about the beta value. 
a smaller beta value gives more weight to precision and less to recall, and a larger beta value gives less weight to precision and, well, more weight to recall. And you can change that according to what you think is more important. So generally, there are three use cases for the F beta uh, score. The F1 score, like we, well, we used, we, we know up until now, which balances between precision and recall. The F0.5 measure, where the beta is equal to 0 0.5, of course. And that gives more weight to precision because, well, the beta value is smaller. And the F2 measure, where uh, it gives less weight to precision because the beta value is larger. So let's take a look at the exact same example like we did before. Only now evaluating the F0.5 measure and the F2 measure. What we have over here is that the value, well, changes from 0 0.66 depending on the beta value. If it's equal to 0 0.5, then it's smaller because there's more weight to precision. And if we use the F2 score, then it's larger because we give more weight to recall. And I, I, I hope this gives you a good glimpse of what the F beta score actually is. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if you'd like me to make a video on, well, anything else.